<laughs> That's slippery. I'm gonna eat it. Oh shh. Holy <laughs> All right, so we're heading out to see some caves over in Northwest Florida, about four or five hours away from uh, my home base in St. Augustine. The water level's been drained low, so you can actually kind of kayak in right now. Somebody tipped me off, so we're going to see if we can get in there, and uh, if so, it should be some really cool shots. So yeah, let's see what we get into, see if we can find it. Let's jump into it. All right, guys. guys so we uh, made it out here on a Merritt Mill Pond blue springs and a ton like a dozen other spring heads just like kind of flood this it's crystal clear real shallow but oh it's so cool amazing and the water level so low I don't know I'll show you some of the trees there uh, how far the water level has dropped it's just nuts so we're trying to find this cave <clears throat> I'm not sure if we can find it so far but uh, we're still looking so as soon as we find it I'll let you guys know So we finally found our way to Gator Cave. It was actually close to the parking lot. We just missed it right when we came in. But this place is absolutely amazing, and this is a one-in-a-lifetime chance. You never get to shoot in here. You can only access these caves when you're uh, scuba diving or cave diving to get into them. So this is absolutely an amazing experience, and uh, the crowds did come soon after. So I literally had about 15 minutes to pull off a shot, and it was very difficult because I had to light paint the whole thing. So. I took a focus stack of two shots and light painted inside the cave and ended up with one decent shot. So I'll go ahead and show you that now. Let's check it out. checked out those caves what is it called uh what's that cave called uh, gator cave? yeah gator cave so we just got back right after we got there sorry right after we got there like 10 15 minutes like five canoes pulled up and paddleboard so we're heading back i'm gonna grab a beer at the car and then uh let this chill out a little bit and then probably come back in try to get some shots all right guys Show you anything cool we get uh, along the way. So uh, yeah, we're in some pretty uh, nasty mud still here. Came back over to the uh, cave area. Actually, I don't even think he, we told you we left and went and checked out some other spots, but uh, we ended up coming back over here because this huge storm's crossing over and it's like dark background and the sun's cutting through and lighting, lighting the foreground up. So it's just awesome. Uh, trying to get a couple of these shots of the uh, cypress trees here uh, with the reflections and everything. So yeah, uh, I'll show you anything I get. And if I uh, come across a specifically cool composition, I'll uh, talk through it and check it out with you. All right, guys, let's do it. <music> kind of cut through and everything kind of got a little overcast so got a few shots I'm sure I'll show you them or you've seen them already but I think we're gonna head on try to find a camp spot for tonight because we have no idea where we're camping we're just kind of free free balling here so yeah we'll check in soon uh see what camp spot we get and uh hopefully we'll figure something out continue the video let's go guys all right yeah we're going back to this uh wildlife management area which is basically just raw woods that you can uh, access it's kind of public areas but trying to find a camp spot so hopefully we will find a camp spot back here but yeah let's see if we can do it hey what's up guys so we ended up uh setting up camp at this uh wildlife management area basically just raw empty woods with a few roads through it so 
we got camp set up and uh sun's just going down it's kind of overcast so no great light or anything but so i came out here to this little uh cedar swamp and it's uh it's got some great fall color in here and the light's not great but I'm trying to get a few cool shots picked off before uh sun goes totally down so i'll show you uh these images hold on just trying to get it hopefully a few of these come out cool but yeah all right we'll catch up soon guys Good morning guys, so we packed up, um, stayed up a little late, slept about four hours, and then I got up at like 5.45, no fog, I got up at about 6.15, no fog, tried 6.45, no fog, so yeah, I didn't really get up and uh, shoot anything.